Well, Nigeria's local currency has fallen to a record low after a steep drop in dollar liquidity in the foreign exchange market. Africa's largest crude producer has struggled to stabilize its currency since it was allowed to trade freely against the dollar in June last year. Let's bring in Bloomberg's Ondiro Ganga, who joins us from Kigali. Uh, Ondiro, what factors are impacting the currency? Thank you, Jumana. So a couple of things to consider here. One, dollar liquidity has been up and down in the second quarter of the year. So this 72% drop doesn't come as a surprise. Investors have been sitting on the fence because the policy environment in Nigeria is very unpredictable. And we even have the IMF advising the central bank to stabilize their policy. We've seen in the recent couple of months there have been hikes and cuts in equal measure. If we also zoom in on their national currency, it's quite under some form of demand pressures because this is a currency, according to the IMF, that is the cheapest cheapest it has ever been in 20 years. It's one of the world's worst performing currencies year to date, having lost nearly 70% of its value to the dollar. And if you look at day-to-day -day trading, there's significant gaps there, which is further eroding confidence in this currency. And if we go back to May, when the president came into office in 2023, he introduced a raft of reforms that were to encourage foreign direct investment in the country. That has not happened. It's been very limited. Money has only come from the World Bank. There's no IMF program to guarantee investors' capital outflows. And the economy is grappling with a widening budget deficit, high borrowing, and there's no clear-cut path towards which they're going to raise revenue. So these are some of the factors that are leading to that pressure that we're seeing. And Adira, how is the Nigerian re uh, economy reacting to the fact that the currency is falling so much? These changes have been very hard to absorb, Jumana. If we just go back to the end of June when results of companies were released, we saw top six Nigerian companies recording losses of $385 million. Airtel recorded the biggest losses. Then you have Dangote Sugar saying that once they adjusted their exchange rate, they lost 68.7 billion naira. We had Cadbury increasing their prices and MTN um, reporting a drop in their profits. If you also look at external loans, they are reflecting limited confidence in the naira because because companies are now beginning to pay off their dollar debt. We had um, Nigerian breweries in September say they're going to pay off their $197 million debt. And also Ecobank Nigeria saying they're going to convert their $200 million um, debt into Naira's to cushion themselves against further volatility. And although the IFC will be injecting about $1 billion uh, into the Nigerian economy to go into loans for small businesses in terms of local currency, more interventions are needed. The government will need probably to run down its reserves to buffer the currency. They could raise a euro bond towards the end of the year, early next year, and also ramp up oil production to hit budget projections of 1.7 million barrels a day from the current 1.3.